A bit of a quicker one here today. The Cats are 0-3 and three going into round 4 after a Jack Lacocious 5-goal demolition. His first goal came after a Geelong error, all alone inside 50. Slight angle, but puts it through to get the Suns underway. The goal umpire also looked quite pleased with the kick as well. Long out in the middle, looking like a ninja, ducking and weaving through 5 Geelong players, throws it on the boot in desperation, and Lacocious, right place, right time. Unfortunately, he does miss with a behind, but again, he is the man to kick it to at the moment, always presenting. Another Geelong error and they pay the price with a turnover. Lacocious on the end of his second goal to boost their morale and confidence even more. It's great to see a team who have seen lots of players leave and are spanning on the verge of making finals in the last few years and they've caused some havoc for the Cats after a turnover. Lacocious again presenting, winning the one-on-one with the experienced Tui, 10 metres out on a 45 degree angle, pumps it through for his third and looking all the more dangerous. I think we have to give it to this one right here ladies and gentlemen and all in between. The Babe Ruth point, does it twice, make that three times. Tui on the mark is saying, get Get f- there's no chance you're kicking this, let alone making the distance. Lukosius lines up and goes whack. Starts outside the right post by a couple of meters and drifts back nicely and makes the distance. The celebration to go with it. Have a look at how far out the man is. Walloping kick and then the celebration where David Swallow gets f***ing elbowed in the eye and Lukosius aware cradles him like a mother. Something we'd see in a sad f***ing film or something. Getting all the head pats, but eyes are all on one man. Protection is the number one nature of this bloke, and he feels like shit after giving Swallow the elbow. Run it back. Slow mow it. Oh, f***. That's at least four weeks and an eye patch. Do eyes even grow? I sure hope they do. The fifth goal came in the absence of the Cats defenders. You just cannot give a man who has kicked four goals on you this much space. So to talk a little bit more about the Cats, they're now 0-3 and three going into round four, and we just need to look at a few instances from the game where they lacked hunger and desire. We've got a couple of cases lined up, firstly with the failed mark attempt by Cameron, usually plucks 9 out of 10 of these and the ball goes to ground. Holmes with a decent tackle, but have a look at the Suns players around the ball and the absent Cats players waiting for a dish out handball. Swallow ends up with it not under pressure at all, who dishes it to Weller, again not under pressure, and the give to Oya, who's in the freest of space in the corridor. About 5 Cats lagging behind, then Farah at centre half forward has no Geelong players for company and gets a clean look at the goals, who does end up missing, but the lack of defence is unexpected acceptable by the reigning premiers. And I don't want to shit on a team, but this is what North Melbourne looked like last year, and even the Ds from 07 to 14 in their struggling years. Another look at one, set shot opportunity by Cameron Gorn begging, again, usually gets 9 out of 10 of these. Close now with an opportunity, no Suns players near him as he kicks it down the line, rubbish kick, I think half the Oz kickers could do that on their left, Collins with a turnover, and they just fire straight through the guts, fast and agile, through the man of the day again, and a goal is kicked. This is all from a clumsy mistaken kick, that would usually have been made. We've got a weird play where I think Myers and Dangerfield are sucked into the mark, leaving the corridor open again. Ops to go to Miller who can pump it down the line to a leading king who of course pops it to none other than Lukosius in a one-on-one beating Tui who was never interested in defending. Those plays are only a few illustrations that happened throughout the game. The sleeping cats need to be wakened and I think they have a great opportunity on Monday against the Hawks to get their first win registered on the board. We'll give the play of the game award to Lukosius and Swallow, the mother and daughter protected and wrapped up in arms. Play on AFL. Things do better with fun and laughter.